Hey everyone, in this video I'll be talking about Twobbler, which is a program that I wrote to get your music that you're currently playing into OBS or XSplit. And at the moment you can see Twobbler in action at the bottom right here within the overlay in OBS. First things first, download and install Twobbler. And once you have it installed, you should see this window here. Uh, which pretty much explains wh what you need to do to set it up but that's what we'll go through in this video as well and for those interested in the whole workflow and what goes on behind the scenes we'll have a quick look at an overview on the left hand side I've divided the music services into three categories the first one being online and desktop that supports scrubbing and those uh, among those are GrooveShark, Deezer and Spotify, but there's uh, a few others. Then the second one is an online music service that does not support scrubbing directly, but requires a browser plugin. And among those are Pandora, YouTube and SoundCloud and a bunch of others. And the third category is a desktop, uh, which doesn't support scrubbing out of the box, but requires a tool called Scrubbler by Lost FM, and among those are the Windows Media Player, iTunes and Winamp. Once you have set up and configured your music service to scrubble to Lost FM, Twobbler will then read that info and write it to a text file on your hard drive, and then you load that text file into OBS or XSplit. So in order to get everything working, the first thing you'll need is a Lost FM account. In case you don't have one, go to lost.fm and create an account there. Once you have an account, the important thing is your account name, because you'll need that in Twobbler. And in case you'll be using a desktop music player like Windows Media Player, iTunes or Winamp, scroll down to the bottom and click on Download Desktop App. Download the Scrubbler for Windows and install it. Just to be clear, you only need the Lost FM Scrubbler if you'll be using a desktop music player like Windows Media Player, iTunes, etc. Otherwise, you don't need this at all. So, okay, I'm gonna go back to my profile page. I'm gonna copy this, paste it into Twobbler, and hit submit. Now Tobber retrieves the information from my Lost FM account. And now it's just a matter of hooking up one or more music services with Lost FM. And I'll start with the desktop option. So uh, I'll be using Windows Media Player. As you can see, I have a Windows Media Player here and the Lost FM Scrubbler. When you've installed the Scrubbler, it will ask you which uh, media players you want to associate it with. In my case, that is uh, Windows Media Player. So if I now play a song in the Windows Media Player, it shows up in Scrubbler. And once Scrubbler refreshes, it shows up here as well. And in the background, it wrote that information to a text file in your documents folder. So if I open it up, what you see here is the info that will be displayed in OBS or XSplit. Next we'll have a look at Spotify and just in case you were wondering you don't need any premium or paid accounts for any of this so you can just use the free version of Spotify you don't need a premium account for Lost.fm none of that so when it's Spotify go to the app finder and look for the Lost.fm app and add it to your uh, apps I have already done that so once I go to the Lost.fm app itself it will ask you to log in with your account so and that's what you do and from then on everything you play in Spotify will be automatically scrubbled to uh, Lost FM. So let's go ahead and try this out click this album here play one of the songs by the way you won't be hearing anything I have muted the sound because otherwise YouTube will not like me as much so and as you can see it shows up here Steve Ray Vaughan Texas Flood the next service we'll look into is GrooveShark 
and just like Spotify, it has built-in functionality to scroll to Lost.fm, so you don't need anything additionally. So you click on the settings here, then you click on, I think, connect, and over here there's an option to connect with Lost.fm. So what you do then is here, click connect to Lost.fm, you fill in your username and password, and from then on those two are connected. And if I would then play one of the songs here, there it is, it shows up in Twobbler. Okay, so far we've looked at scrubbing from uh, Spotify using the Lost FM app built into Spotify, and from GrooveShark, which has Spotify functionality built in. And we also seen the Windows Media Player using the Scrubbler tool from Lost.fm. And now the last part will be using a Chrome plugin or Chrome extension to do the uh, scrubbling for us. So this will work with services such as Pandora who do not have uh, the functionality of Lost.fm built in. So the extension will take care of that for us. So to install the extension you go to the uh, Chrome Web Store, you search for Lost FM and here it is extension Lost FM Scrubbler. Click on it. It's already installed but over here you then install it and then once it is installed you need to configure it Let's have a look. Okay, options. Okay, the first thing to do here is to disable this option which says use desktop notifications. Uh, which, what this will do is it will pop up a message near your system tray uh, that you're about the song that you're playing. But when you're playing a game, you don't really want that, so disable that option. Then it has here a list of all the supported websites. I have disabled the ones that I won't be using. And I have also disabled the ones that uh, now have uh, built in Lost.fm functionality, such as GrooveShark. So I've disabled that one. I think Spotify is in here as well. So I've disabled Spotify as well. And the one I'll be trying this out with is Pandora. So Pandora is here, so that one is enabled. At the bottom here, there's the Lost FM account connection. So over here, you will link the plugin with Lost FM. So basically, you need to authenticate uh, the plugin with Lost FM. So once you have all that configured, you can then go to Pandora or whichever music service that you'll be using. And let's see if we can get this working okay it is now playing you can still not hear the music for the same reason as before and as you can see it sold up here in Toller. oh yeah there it is so now that we have everything working our music is being scrubbed to lost FM and then Twobbler is fetching that information and writing it to a text file Let's have a look at where the text file is. If you right click on the system tray icon, there's an option here that says open folder. So this is the location where Twobbler writes its information. It's a text file and we will now load that into OBS. So right click, add text. I'm gonna name it Twobbler. Click OK. Select use text from file. Now I'm gonna browse to that location. So in my documents folder, Twobbler now playing. Open that up. Select the font, select the size, make it bold, make it a little smaller. I'm gonna click OK so I can already see it so up here at the top left. And I will now go ahead and edit the scene and position it 
then make some more adjustments like resizing. Okay, that looks good. So I'm gonna double click this. I'm gonna make it dark gray. It should be scrolling text, so set the scroll speed of about, I don't know, 20. Make it a bit smaller. This. I'm going to use the option use custom text extents and then as I resize this you'll see a green box and I'm going to make it so that it fits my UI that looks about right ok now click ok again and as you can see it now adjusted the um, rectangle for me and I can now drop it down behind the overlay and there you go so from now on you will have your music displaying in OBS or XSplit just remember to start Twobbler every time you want to stream you can minimize it to the system tray and let's have a quick look in full screen mode Okay, this is it. Uh, hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.